So what is critical thinking? Critical thinking, essentially, is when you separate yourself from your idea. It's when you finally realize, I am not my opinion. I can change my opinion. If my idea is wrong, I can change my idea and I'm not hurt. I am different from my idea. This way, you can look at yourself from the outside. You take off your idea like you take off a hat. Maybe you try on different ideas like you try on different hats. And you can look at it as if it's not yourself. You look at your own idea as if you're looking at someone else's idea. This is the beginning of critical thinking. And once you do this, other people can tell you, Ooh, that idea is wrong. Or you can say that idea is wrong. You don't need to be defensive. You don't need to feel bad. People tell you that your idea might not be the best. And you can carefully consider it. If you need to, you can change your idea. And you're not hurt because you and your idea are not the same. They're different because you have separated yourself from your ideas. This way, you can look at pros and cons. You can look at arguments that support your idea or suggest that your idea is correct. You can also look at cons, which say maybe your idea is wrong and they argue against your idea. Looking at the pros and cons or weighing the pros and cons, like in a weigh scale, is a very important step to critical thinking. Think about your idea. Why is it right? Why is it wrong? Or why could it be right? Why could it be wrong? Go through all of this thinking for a long time, maybe even years, before you come to your conclusion. Being able to wait and not have a conclusion yet is an important part of critical thinking. Critical thinking always asks for a basis, and the secret of a basis is it's outside of yourself. You are not the basis for truth. If your ideas are correct, it's not because you think them. It's because there is an idea outside of yourself, a basis outside of your thinking, a basis that you can learn more about every day. For example, if there's a fact, something that is true or not true, of course, a fact is true by definition, but if there is a fact for question, you need proof for that fact. You need testimony. You need someone who says they saw it or a video or a picture. As for a theory, well, a theory is an idea about how things work, such as gravity or the speed of light. Theories need to be tested. If you want to know if a theory is correct, you need to use it and see if it works. Theories need trials and tests. Facts need proof and evidence. These exist outside of yourself, and that's what a basis is. Now, thinking critically does not mean that you remain undecided forever. You actually do need to have a conclusion just not right away. If you have a good conclusion, that means that you will be able to argue against yourself better than anyone else can argue against you. You know all of the arguments against your own idea because you've thought about it very carefully and listened and learned and studied. And so when anyone argues against your idea, they will not give you an argument you haven't already read or thought of because you have thought critically and you've already thought about everything involved. Also, if someone gives you a different idea, you've already thought of that idea. You can defend someone who disagrees with you better than he can defend himself because you've not only thought about your idea, but other ideas you could have instead. So you can argue against yourself better than anyone, and you can argue in favor of other people better than anyone else. Now, you have thought critically, and you can and need to have a conclusion, and your conclusion will be very strong. 
But how do we think critically? Well, here are a few things for now. Welcome disagreement. Anytime someone disagrees with you, that could be your new best friend. You will not think critically if you're surrounded by people who always agree with you. If someone tells you you're wrong, you will love talking to him because he helps you think critically. Never play devil's advocate. Devil's advocate is a silly game where people just argue just to argue. They pretend that they're helping the devil argue with everybody, and they're not arguing with you because they think, or they understand, or they really disagree with you. They're just arguing with you just to keep arguing with you. That's fake. That doesn't help. That doesn't give you real practice. No, don't play devil's advocate. Rather, discuss often with everyone. Have critical thinking conversations everywhere you go everywhere you can get. Talk with friends, talk with families, talk with teachers, talk with strangers, talk with anyone. Make critical thinking conversation part of your normal conversation. Some people will misunderstand you, but that gives you an opportunity to think critically and educate other people about critical thinking. Maybe you could even tell them that they could watch this video. Travel far and travel often. The farther you travel, the more different your ideas will be that you will see. If you want to think critically, you will need new and different ideas. Do that as often as you can, and you'll have more ideas to think about. Listen loudly, so loudly that people can almost hear you listening. When you meet a stranger or you sit next to someone on the bus, or you see someone at the coffee shop or the store, you're waiting in line. Talk to them. Ask them why they do what they do. Learn from them. And when they give you an answer or they say they like something, ask them why. Say, I'm curious. I want to understand things. Why do you like that? Do you like your dog? He's little. What do you think of that? Is it a good dog? Why would you recommend him? Learn everywhere you can. Think critically. Understand different people. Listen to people so carefully that they'll say, wow, he listens loudly. Find the truth. We do not think critically in order to deny the truth. The truth does exist. It is out there. We're looking for it. Don't use critical thinking as a way to say, well, there is no truth. We're just going to keep thinking and thinking and never decide and never find the truth. You will find the truth. Critical thinking believes that there is truth to find. Some people use critical thinking to cover up the truth or avoid the truth. It's a way of talking where they can run away from the truth and not have to deal with the truth. That's not what you want to do. Critical thinking is a quest to find the truth, not a tool to hide the truth.